everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this amazingly cool Coca-Cola bottle cake. Now not only is it in the shape of a Coke bottle, it is also Coke flavored cake in the side of it. So this is one of hundreds of really cool ideas that we have here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you are the first to see all of the new videos that come up every week. Let's get started on this Coke bottle tutorial. To make our Coke cake, we're going to be using one cup of Coca-Cola. We need two cups of granulated sugar. We need two cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk where you are, I have a video up on how to make your own and I'll link it in the description box. We need half a cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, we have half a cup of butter. We need three tablespoons of cocoa powder and half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. So we're going to put all the different parts of the recipe together first. So what I've got here in a medium sized saucepan is my Coke in the bottom and I'm going to add in my butter like that. And obviously the butter will melt. We're also going to add in the vegetable oil into there and the cocoa powder is going into this mixture as well. So we're gonna move on to putting our dry ingredients together. Now I have my dry ingredients here. In my bowl I have my flour. I'm going to add my sugar into here, like that. Then I need to also add my baking soda and my, my salt. Then taking a whisk, whisk that all together and set it aside. Now for the wet ingredients, so I've got my eggs here and I'm just putting them into a measuring cup so I can pour it easily later. And I'm just gonna give those a quick little mix. Then adding in my buttermilk, like that. Buttermilk is nice and thick and tangy. It gives a really good moisture to the cake. And I'm adding in the vanilla, like that. And then just mix that up and again, set it aside. So I have my saucepan on top of a heating element and it's about medium temperature. And I've got my Coke mixture in here that we put together a while ago. And this is just going to let, I'm gonna let it cook and have the butter melt and the cocoa's all gonna to mix together. And I'm gonna bring it to just a boil. You want everything to be mixed and combined and nice and warm. After it's come to a boil, you just want to remove it and just set it aside to cool slightly, probably about five or 10 minutes is all that's needed and then we're going to add it into the next part of our cake batter. So I have my flour mixture in the bowl of my stand mixer fitted with the paddle attachment and I'm just going to put it on low and add my cola mixture. With that mixing I'm going to let it mix for a little bit longer and then I'm going to also add in that egg and that mi milk mixture. So I'm going to continue mixing these on low until everything has combined nice and smoothly. So this cake is a really sticky cake. So what I've done is I've extra kind of prepared my pan to make sure that my cake doesn't stick to it. So what I've done, and this is a 13 by nine inch baking pan, and I've got nonstick spray, I've got wax paper, and I've just lightly dusted it with cocoa powder. So you wanna, you don't have to do all of that, but I'm just airing really on the side of caution and letting you guys know. So I'm just going to take my batter and pour it into here. You can see it's nice and a beautiful little golden color. There we go. And what I'm going to do is bake this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. Now, when the cake has finished baking, I'm going to let it cool, of course. And then in order to get the actual pieces of cake into the Coke bottle, I want, I'm going to freeze the cake. So let it cool first and then freeze it solid. With our cake in the freezer after it's been baked, we're going to get our ingredients ready for actually assembling the cake. So we need to have a two liter bottle of Coca-Cola. We need to have some chocolate. Now I'm using just like regular Merkins melting wafers because they're gonna harden up really, really well and, which is, and they do it quickly, which is why I prefer using them. And we're also going to need a batch of my vanilla buttercream and the link to that will be in the description box below. So I emptied out my Coke from the bottle. You can use it with that cup of the cake batter if you want to, or you can just enjoy it. 
Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just finding out where the label doesn't stick and I'm using a really sharp X-Acto knife here just to score the label off. And you'll notice that I kept the lid to the bottle and I'm going to keep the label as well. So I'm just peeling that off. Just peel that off gently and I'm going to keep this so make sure that you just set it aside so you can use it later. And then again with the X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut an opening here and we're going to use the opening in order to um, get the cake into the bottle. So pushing down carefully to get that started and then I'm just going to move my knife up here. And you want to be really, really careful because this is really sharp. Um, and even when you go to like stick your hand in here later, it is quite, some of the plastic can be a little bit, um, just a little bit sharp. So just be really careful at this point on this project. So just working this off and I'm going to cut out this rectangle piece here and pull it out. And there we go. So now it's ready for the chocolate. So I'm going to melt the chocolate. So I've got some melted chocolate in my pot bottle. Now you probably want like a little bit more than that, a quarter of a cup to a half a cup. And you're going to put a couple of coats onto it. So it doesn't really matter how many you put each time. But what I'm going to do is you just like roll your bottle around, manipulate it in order to get it all covered in chocolate. And like I said, you're going to want at least um, probably two or three coats of chocolate. The thicker it is, the better it's going to be and the less chance it will have to break on you. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And then once I got, once I have one coat completely covering the outside of the bottle, I'm going to put it into the fridge, let it sit for probably like 10 minutes or so until it's solid. And then I'll put another couple coats on in between each time. Once your bottle is coated with the chocolate inside and nice and thick in there, um, I'm going to take the buttercream and then I'm just going to try to give like a really thin coat or as whatever you can get basically inside here. And I'm taking like a spatula and I'm just starting it out like that. I'm going to spread the spatula around trying to get all the different parts inside here as much as I can. So you want to go all the way to the end and then to this end as well to the top and you can take a, um, an offset spatula and kind of spread it around. So you just want to give it a good coating here and that's going to help your cake uh, actually stick to the sides here when you go to put them in, which we'll do next. So I've got my cake here and it's frozen and I've sliced it into about one inch size slices and this just makes it easier to get into the actual um, the bottle here. Just putting some buttercream on here and then I'm going to just literally shove it down here and that's why you want it to be frozen because this cake is a really light fro really light cake and so you want it to be frozen before you put it in so you're able to actually handle it because if well I tried the first time to just um, kind of just push it in there and it just turned into like big, basically a big giant cake pop. So I'm going to both ends, one that way, one this way, and just building up towards my gap here. And once I've got all the cake filling up the space in here, I'm going to show you the final step to the actual bottle, which is sealing the top where I'm putting my hand in here. So I'm just going to continue to fill up this bottle and then I'll be back to show you how to put the chocolate over the top. So what I'm going to do now that I've got my bottle filled completely is I'm going to put some more chocolate on and I'm just going to do a small amount at a time and just take a, uh, an offset spatula here and you just want to gently rub it on. I made sure that the cake was the last thing that's kind of going to hit the chocolate. I just found that it, the chocolate attaches better to it than the buttercream. So in between each of these layers of chocolate, cause you need to build it like you did the inside of the bottle. You're going to pop it into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes until you have a covering here completely with it completely covered over. Once we've got that top covered, I just used a sharp knife, my X-Acto to carve away a little bit so I could actually get to this piece that we cut out before. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife again and then I'm just going to go around really carefully, really slowly and just what this is going to do is going to release the bottle, the chocolate from the bottle and you could hear it even kind of disappear in itself. Oh, and if you get cut like that, you kind of got to go all the way back to the beginning. Here we go <laughs> and keep on going. So I'm just going to go around like this and then cut away at little individual pieces of the plastic. And you just have to be really careful and again, um, really safe with the X-Acto knife. So I'm just going to keep cutting until I get my bottle released. 
So our last step to completing the cake is to put our label and our lid back on. So I've just got a little paint brush here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of extra um, chocolate along here because I don't want too much. I just want to have a little bit for the label to stick to. So I'm just going to pull that up like that and then press that down and attach it on the other side as well. There we go. And then into the lid, we'll just put a little bit of chocolate there too. Leftover chocolate from when we were rolling it around before. And then I just have to hold it there until it sets. So of course I've got another one on the go and I'm going to slice one open so you guys can see the inside as well. So there you go everybody, how to make this Coke bottle cake. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make Coke flavored cake to put, we put inside here. And I've got it sliced open at the end here so you can see inside about what it might look like when you fill up your chocolate Coke bottle. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Remember if you make it, please send me a picture of your work. I love seeing them. The links to all of my social media are in the description box below. And I will see you guys all again soon with another tutorial.